coming up next, only by Bravo. for bringing your home movies. <laughs> I'm very excited about this topic. I saw Kesha on MTV. She did a five minute interview, but she packed a lot of heat into it. First of all, I'm a big fan of hers. She mm -hmm. writes her own songs. I think she went to Columbia. <laughs> she dresses Clearly. in a way, she dresses in a way that says, I'm not intimidated by you. Um, but I just, want to, I just want to say that in this interview, she actually said um, she bangs ghosts. And she also bangs ugly guys. <laughs> and so I have a couple of quotes. <laughs> you have get you ready. Come get ready. All right, so the first Kesha quote oh. is, I don't really like hot guys. I like making out with a bunch of ugly guys. A bunch, not just one. No, so that's my question. How do you define cute, ugly? So if you're ugly and dead, you're her type? <laughs> if you're a ghost, uh -huh. don't get weird, Colfer. But isn't that just a wet dream? Yes, I think if you have sex with a ghost, it's just a wet dream. Yeah. Um, Are they ugly ghosts, too? Because that'd be sad. Okay, hold on. You're right. Let's get to the ghost part. Because yeah. honestly, I was watching this interview, yeah. and I thought, I'm not understanding. <laughs> but I think it was one of those moments where she started joking, and then she might have been serious. So once again, I'm quoting Kesha, and I'm a fan. Don't cut me. Um, <laughs> she says, I used to live in this house, and there was just this, like, really pervy, very hands-on ghost. And it's a <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, like very hands-on ghost. And at first, he started out like kind of creeping, like in a mellower way. And then by the end of it, it was just pretty full on. Are you, did you make that up? Didn't make a word of it up. I don't have to because Kesha is Kesha. <laughs> That's why I, I think love she's her too. I'm, yeah, I'm, love, I'm, love. I'm eight months pregnant, so I'm kind of jealous. I would love some <laughs> you kind would of love a ghost hot... to come visit me anytime. But I like that she <laughs> distinguishes between like creeping and then full on. You're you're 19. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. As a 19 year old or 11 or whatever you are, what does full on imply to you when you're talking about ghost sex? Oh, I I, I don't know. I, I, does that mean like your his aura all over her? I don't the, <laughs> the orb. I think. I think he meant, I think he meant like a see-through penis in her solid Ooh. vagina. Well, then how does she know, how Doctor, does she know it was there? I think she's watched Crash for the Ghost too much. But I do, this is why I love Kesha, because what you get is what you see. Mm. And well, she's not no... if it's a ghost. <laughs> then it just flies by. Uh, Save so myself on so another episode This for is you. totally an episode of Our America. I know. I am jealous, ghost though. It's kind of exciting. The yeah, idea of being visited at night by this foreign thing that's kind of like, I know I'm eight months pregnant, okay? okay. Give me a break, all right? Okay, I, I, can't, I can't help but it. I don't know if I'd want a foreign <laughs> thing inside me. And does she consider it to be a foreign thing, or is it a date if you're banging a ghost? <laughs> well, this is coming from somebody that wees in the street and takes a picture of it and tweets it. So, yes, I forgot about her P-tweeting. We'll get I you love in her a again, so that's another reason why she's like number one in my book. I know, but could you not say that in front of Colfer? He's nine years old. <laughs> So now, this is um, a favorite part of the show for me because I'm gonna make fun of Oprah and watch them all get really nervous. <laughs> Everyone's afraid. You're always I did this when I'm on the show. Jen Rivers. I'm used to this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, but Oprah could kill you. Um, <laughs> all right, so the story is that Tyler Perry sent a gift to Oprah, and I guess those two ladies were getting along just fine. And, um, oh. He does a lot of movies where he dresses up in drag. I love it. All right, so anyway, he sent her a gift, and I guess it was a gift bag that was so big that she actually hurt herself. All right, the quote from Tyler Perry is, I like to send really large flower arrangements. I sent one to Oprah yesterday for her birthday. She strained her back picking it up. No joke. Feel better, Oprah. Lisa? No, so I... <laughs> Tell me like... about the time that Oprah screamed at you over at the own offices. No, but I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that was kind of... I feel like that was kind of cheap of Tyler, because he gave her a Bentley before, right? Now he's just, like, giving her a big flower arrangement? Wh Wait. Big. Hold on. Uh, that. You mean but that... I mean, a flower arrangement or a Bentley? Well, I, hold I don't on. Know. I... I'm rethinking it's every Oprah joke I have ever made. <laughs> There's 
a world where Oprah gives people Bentleys? No, Tyler Perry gave her and Gail a Bentley. I take back that joke about <laughs> Tyler Perry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I love Medea. I love Medea's family vacation. I love Medea goes to <laughs> jail. jail. <laughs> oh, Church. wow. Church. Yeah. All right, what, uh, what's the best gift you've ever gotten from a celebrity? A Bentley from Tyler Perry, actually. <laughs> You know, your mom gave me a Chanel bag once and I almost fainted. I, I can't believe, your mom's a freaking baller. Can I okay? tell you why that is, why? in all honesty, is that she buys the same thing twice and forgets that she's done it. <laughs> wow, that is, I did not expect that coming from the lavender hair. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what do you give? What do you, what's an Osborne gift? Um, well, right now, is Oddly it the enough. Watch soup? Is it no, the it's scented <laughs> candles, considering my mother just set the house on fire and we literally have like a lifetime supply in the house at all times. So I actually now wanted to ask no you candles. about that. Now that your mom isn't here to defend herself, we should talk about how your insane mother set the house on fire. <laughs> her mom is like the no, Tracy no. Morgan of white people. I'm not kidding. Her mom is Sharon Osborne. No, she really is. She, um, she... Just so, so you get this picture no, in your allegedly, mind. Allegedly, allegedly. No, it, this really happened. Calf skin table, right? So yeah, it's like sure. this old antique table my family's had for years. And on top of it is like this big candle. I'm not joking, it's like that big. And there's like 25 little bits that you light I'm wicks. picturing your stomach being the table. Because yeah. she, keep, she keeps saying it's this big. Yeah. And I want to put candles on your stomach, sorry. <laughs> we'll and get then, back to your ghost sex in a minute, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Freak! And there was next to potpourri and something else incredibly flammable. And my mom's bright idea to right. put water on oil, which then made the fire go even bigger. And then she thought it was even smarter to open the windows. I agree, because uh, I've seen Backdraft, and so, that always works out well. Wow. So literally the whole everything, but I will tell you this. Yeah. Just goes to show how genius my mother is within 24 hours, brand new table, completely repainted, yeah. and it was like it never happened. Oh, I'm sure I was you like, got oh. the Elton John Mafia on it. Uh, <laughs> that's they can do anything. <laughs> Elton did it? No, they used the same interior design. Whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold for control your guest. <laughs> um, Sorry. By the way, in Struck by Lightning, your movie, uh, some of the themes you touch on are revenge, blackmail. So speaking of blackmails, Chris Brown is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, twat away. I'm so scared of you, Chris Brown fans. Whatever. Oh, anyway, Chris Brown... Oh, okay. <laughs> I, well, then we're going deep. I, I am afraid of Chris Brown. Yeah, I know. I okay, Chris Brown allegedly got into a fight with openly gay hip-hop artist Frank Ocean, who I met last week, who was super nice. That's not him. Anyway, <laughs> so allegedly there was a fight, blah, blah, blah. The point is, I just think it's funny that uh, between Frank Ocean and Chris Brown, Chris Brown has the cast. And it just makes me happy to see Chris Brown wearing a cast. <laughs> Finally. Thoughts? He's still fighting this Chris Brown? He fights yeah, everybody, I, I think. I, but, 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 but he, he needs to take some lessons from Meta World Peace or something. Like they, they, right? Yes, I What's agree. What's going on with him? I, he's angry. And Rihanna's Colter, back together I know with you him? I don't, look, here's what Rihanna doesn't get, that we don't want her with him because we like her. Like, she yeah, doesn't exactly. get that. She gets so mad at us. Don't get scared now. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not scared. All right, well, first of all, Chris <laughs> Brown, he actually decided to walk away from all of social media, and I quote, social media takes away the essence of why we are even special or icons. <laughs> Right? Sorry. All right, calm down, wow. girl. So wow, with so that, I'm detaching myself from that world. Wow. Can I just say something? Yes. Anybody that... You can't be a self-proclaimed icon. Correct. That doesn't make any sense. No. But I will say this. It's very smart of him. To get Ashton away now. Ashton Kutcher did it, and he didn't get in trouble again afterwards. Yeah. But you and, and I, we get in a little trouble now and I don't again. Care. I don't either. Who gives up? <laughs> <laughs> so it's Colfer that's all nervous in the middle. Look at him. I'm terrified. I, <laughs> I can feel like his body heat protruding because he's sweating uh, and nervous. He's, he's, he's in a safe oh, place. Oh, that's the ghost that I'm hooking up with later. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll be.